There was a lot of, uh, copper right there. You'd think we'd stop finding that copper and start finding more gold and silver and iron and stuff here, but I guess you always find copper at any level, huh? Oh, I, I don't know how I play. I guess maybe the smart cursor placed it right there. <laughs> I was about to say, I don't know how I can place a, uh, torch right there. I was nowhere near that. Or wasn't even aiming at that, but, uh, yeah, this kind of circles around to the, uh, to the area we just looted, so that's good. Got those, and that looks like another dart trap right there, but it's not doing anything. I don't know what to I don't know how to activate that or what. We have a piranha there and a couple uh things over here. Bombs. Oh, oh, a hook and a glow stick. Nice. I forgot what we... Oh, yeah, then we get a hook from a... a skeleton, but a piranha, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess we just got a hook right there from, uh, like a vase or a clay pot or whatever you call that. So that's cool. Anything up here? Oh, yeah, I, yeah, you could use the, uh... Oh, <laughs> look at how slow you go through that. But, yeah, you could use a hook shot to kind of go through cobweb, too. So that's cool. Is there anything else over here I wanted to get? I don't, I don't, oh, and a little bit of silt right there. Is that a decent amount, or is that worth getting to? I don't know, maybe. I guess I can try and get to it with my, uh... Oh, I need to... There you go, grab that. Grab a copper. Yeah, it's like, I don't know, six, seven silt or something like that, so I guess I'll grab that. Yeah, it was like five silt right there. Not too bad. I guess I guess it was worth grabbing right there, so... Not too shabby do. only took like 20 seconds out of my second day. <laughs> let's go down here. Let's see what's over here, though, real quick. Just because it looks like it lead... Yeah, it does lead down to a big area, it looks... And there we go. Healing potion torches. So speaking of torch, I guess I'll place one here. Silver. And it looks like a, another shelly or something down. Wait, what is that? That's another type of gr What? Cockneal beetle. Ugh. What? That is such a str Ew. Oh, it had like juices and stuff everywhere? Oh, red husk. Ooh, I don't know if you could use that for anything. Oh, man, that thing was disgusting. And it's like heckin' juice is flying everywhere. <laughs> man, this, this guy is an actual literal beetle juice. Ugh, disgusting. I know, let's just grab the silver over here. And it looks like we found another uh, base or whatever over there. I don't know what the actual technical name of that is, you guys. I should probably look it up. But uh, I guess I'll grab the blink root. Why not? It's going to show up on that heckin' map anyways. There's like two more over there. <laughs> but there's another gold chest over here. It looks like another chandelier. It might be made out of tin by the looks of things. Looks like a f you gold up there, maybe? And of course, another clay pot. And a uh, feather fall thing right there. I guess I'll, uh, there you go. Get the heckin' skeleton with a gun. Just cause why not? Might as well use our heckin' ammo. <laughs> and like a singular silt right there. Anyways, uh, oh, let's use this. And oh, that's actually a decent amount of gold. Not bad. Let's actually continue digging that. And I don't know how much gold we're gonna have after this trip, you guys, but we might actually be able to make a full set of gold armor. But of course, we're gonna need like actually hundreds of raw, unsmelted gold ore to actually make that, you guys. But we may actually have that by the end of this trip. Who knows? Continue grabbing every uh, bit of gold that we find, though, and we'll get ever so closer and closer to having a full set of gold armor by the time we actually finish and go back to the base, guys. There you go, that's all that gold, I think. There's that blink rune, I guess I'll grab that because I already have one in my inventory, and there's that heckin' bat over here. Get the, uh, the demonic artery, got him. Another, uh, skeleton down there. Nice, got him. And there's a chandelier, is there? I wonder if we can actually find one of these that actually has two... <laughs> sword? Oh, I think that's the sword the skeleton had, so I can't use it, so that sucks. Kill that bat. Use this thing to clear out the cobwebs, which is kind of crazy. Using a yo-yo to clear out cobwebs. <laughs> and, oh, that's just cobwebs that's on the ground that I can collect. Okay. What else is inside here, though? Brisk band of regenerate. Oh, now, what do we have here? Lucky band of regeneration. Plus 4% critical strike chance. Slowly regenerates life. Slowly regenerates life. Yeah. I guess I'll grab it and then sell it or something like that. And then more actual healing potions. Spelunker potions. Show the locations of treasure and ore. I kind of want to use that, you guys. Because uh, I, was, I was talking about it earlier, I didn't know what it was called. Oh yeah, I think I did know what it was called. But I don't think we had any at the time. Uh, mud block, let's get rid of that. Dirt, get rid of that. Topaz, silt, stone, cobweb, yeah. And then I guess I'll get rid of the hook. I don't know if I could... I don't know, man. I'll keep it right now. I don't know if I could use it for anything else, but... Uh, let's grab the Spelunker. Let's, 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 let's actually use the Spelunker potion. Actually see what it does. Oh, that's a lot of silt over there. Whoa! Man, that's a lot of... Oh, yeah, and let's see what that chandelier is. Is it tin or is it uh, tungsten? What was tungsten again? Is that is that good? I don't know if it was or not. But uh, Let's actually place down our piggy bank and actually empty our inventory of all the stuff over here real quick. And then, of course, I'm going to go grab all that silt over there because... That is actually like a hundred heckin' silt right there, you guys. I am not gonna leave that behind. <laughs> Jeez. And let's keep the Spelunker potion in my inventory, too. Yeah, let me see how much gold ore we have now. Yeah, we have 91 gold ore, so we're getting close to 100. So we're able to get like 30 or something like that more actual ingots out of that. So that's actually really good, you guys. Nice. Oh, the red husk is used to make red dye. Okay. Uh, is there anything... Yeah, look at this. See, now this is full, so I guess I'll get rid of the snail. 
Uh, and then for the red husk in there, I, 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 don't, I don't know about like dyes and stuff if I actually use that, but maybe with a brisk band of regeneration, I'll put that up. I'll turn all my bombs into sticky bombs. There you go. Stack those up. There you go. Nice. And wood, uh, I do not have my workbench out right now. I guess I'll just drop that or get rid of it or whatever right there. So there we go. Snail, I'll get rid of that one too. Is there anything else around here that, uh, I can get rid of? I don't think so. Less oh yeah, lesser healing potions. I'll stack those up too. All right, now this is getting full. I think I might get rid of, like, the blink root seeds. Uh, and the blink roots, because I already have a decent amount of those, I think, so I guess I'll put those up in favor of, like, the husk and the chill mushroom and all that kind of stuff, and the- I don't know about the hook. I guess I'll look up if the hook is useful for anything else. Uh, no. It looks like it's only used for making the grappling hook, so yeah, I guess I'll get rid of that, so that's garbage. Where'd I go? Oh, there it is right there. Yep, there it go. It's gone now. And I guess I'll keep the red husk, and I think that's going to be it, you guys. So, yep, let's grab the, uh, the piggy bank back, and, uh, there you go. And let me go, oh, what's, oh, it's just a flipped over table, I thought, oh yeah, what was this uh, chandelier right here, is that, what's a silver chandelier, eh, I guess I'll keep it right now. Yeah, let me grab all the second silt, you guys, this is gonna take a while, so, I, I might have to actually pause, because there's a lot of silt here, there's a lot of silt down there, and there may be even more around here, you guys. Whoa, look at this, that is a ton of silt, I definitely do want to go home eventually, especially because we're running out of inventory space for both myself and my piggy bank. Maybe once my inventory gets full, now that our piggy bank is full, look at this! I guess we'll go home, uh, and then just kind of sell some of the stuff. Throw all the silt inside of the, uh, the extracting air, see if we can get out of that. And then, of course, maybe see if that goblin guy actually did go back to our base, or what? Because I have no idea what happened to him. I don't know if he could still spawn in or what, but, yeah. Oh, and, and by the way, it seems like the goblin tinkerer guy, the NPC, apparently you could actually buy a regular grappling hook slash hook, I guess, from him? So, I guess we missed out on that, but we already have a better hook. We have an emerald hook now, so not only that big of a deal, but he probably has some other really good stuff, so that sucks that we don't have them. At least as far as I know right now, but I meant to pause or whatever right there, and I just jibber jabbered through all that, so I guess, I guess, oh, is there anything else down here? I don't know. So I guess I don't have to pause at all. <laughs> Anyways, is there anything else over here, though, before we leave? I kind of want to place more torches. How are we doing torch-wise, though, real quick? Hold on. It shows up whenever. 130. Okay, yeah, we, we still have a decent amount right now. Oh, whoa! New biome! Oh, is it or...? Whoa, it is! You guys, look at that! There's like a giant mushroom biome over there! An underground mushroom or something! Ooh, where is my, uh, rope? Oh, it actually, like, leads into that! Okay, I kinda wanna go back to that real quick, you guys. Cause it's just gonna lead back to it anyways. And let's continue digging our rope down. And let's adventure around this new, like, mushroom biome that we have over here, you guys. So, let me get all the second silver and anything else I might come across real quick. And I'll see you guys back at the, uh, the rope that we're continuing to build downwards. Or dig downwards, I guess you could say. <laughs> oh, there's a goblin down! Oh, another bound, another bound goblin! Hold on, forget, forget everything, forget everything. I'm going to go save him, I'm going to go save him, I'm going- What is that? Spore bat. Yeah, let me, let me go kill that spore bat. By the way, I know a lot of you guys want me to play Spore again. Listen, let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys want me to play Spore again? For like the fifth time on the channel, because... I'm like, I've played it so many times, I don't want to play it again, but like, if you guys really, if the demand's there... Now, what about the uh, Bound Goblin? <gasps> there we go, we got him! Zahn! I wonder what the other guy's name Did Did he have a name? No, he didn't. I think he only has a name whenever you, uh, save him. Thank you for freeing me, human. I was tied up and left here by the other goblins. You- Wait, what did he- Man, this dumb snail. Oh, he's- Oh, you better not heckin' harm my friend. What did he say? Thanks for the help, now I have to go finish pacing around aimlessly here. I'm sure we'll meet again. Is he- Is he not gonna go to our base, or is he always gonna be here? I don't know, but- He- He has a, uh... I could sell stuff for him. Just like I said, he's a, a tinkerer, I think, right? And then, yeah, here's the happiness. So I guess he wants to stay down here, maybe? Goblins don't normally need nice homes, but I'm not like most goblins. Perfect. The lack of annoying neighbors adequately meets my- I guess we can keep him down here, if, if, especially if he is, like, right next to our, uh... What is this down here? Oh, God, there's, like, a, a guy over there. There's, like, funky music going on here, too, you guys. It's nice. It's a nice change of pace from the heckin' doom music and whatever else we were going through, uh past couple episodes, but hey, there's some gold right there, nice. But yeah, we could sell some stuff to him and actually get some inventory space back, which is good. And there's a dark trap down there, which I guess that mother slime doesn't care about, but kind of want to build him a base or whatever, you guys. How would I do that? I guess just make it out of stone or something. Now, where is our, uh, I guess, I don't know. I don't want to figure out. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I thought that was a, uh, a worm guy. But either way, yeah, I guess we can sell this or buy and sell tool belt. Rocket, but what? Rocket boots can be worn in vanity slots. Allows flight. Oh my gosh, is that what you guys were talking about? I think I think someone 
was saying something about that. I don't know if they specifically said rocket boots, but that might be what they're talking about. Or I think multiple people actually now I think about it. Because I don't I don't want to be like, oh, there's only one person. Just because there's hundreds of comments and it's it's hard to keep track of if it's just one person or just, you know multiple people. Yeah, I kinda wanna make this guy a home and then of course assign his uh a room. I don't know, maybe I could actually build it like right here. Instead of being like out in the open or something like that? I don't know. I don't think it matters. I, I think he's just hanging out here, which is good. Uh, apparently, oh, and by the way, the happiness thing, I read you guys' comments. There's like a new thing in 1.4 where certain NPCs want to be in certain situations and biomes and stuff. So I guess this guy really likes this biome. Uh, we might want to go back to our home and see what the other NPCs want in terms of their happiness thing. Just go over here and click on happiness. Because it looks like he's he's fine with this area. Perfect. Lack of annoying neighbors adequately meets his needs. So I guess he's, uh, he's fine on his own. He doesn't need to be like near other people or in a specific biome, I guess. Because uh, I think there was, like, one NPC that was like, oh, I don't like that other NPC, so I might want to take them away from uh, the same area as a, a certain NPC. So I, I guess we'll figure out what to do with the other NPCs once we actually get back home and, and all that kind of jazz. But for right now, I kind of want to make this guy a base. But I guess we'll figure out where... Oh, man, that's a lot of slimes down there, and there's a guy down there, too. Nice, got him. There's a spore bat down here we need to take care of. Yeah, there's a mother slime there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Is that the dart trap? I think it is. Hold on. Something just exploded down there, I think. Oh, yep. Something over there shooting. Oh, multiple. Oh. I'm going to have to destroy those, aren't I? Or are they out of darts? Yeah, that might be what's happening with these dart trap things, you guys. They might just be straight up out of darts. Hold on, let me kill the mother slime if they can... Wait, what's this? Oh, yeah, it's a semi-automate. I have to... Wait, what happened to the mother slime? It, like, went through the, the thing. The wall there. What? I don't know what in the world she- Oh, whoa! It's still shooting darts, though. Hold on. Wait, I got rid of the darts to the left. I'm still shooting, though. I have no idea. I'm gonna get rid of that, though. But we have another, uh, black slime. Kill it. Kill it with the pick, because it, it can do damage. So there you go. That's good. Um, oh, wait, how- Where is that coming from? Oh, wait, I- Oh, I didn't get rid of that one. Okay. There you go. But yeah, somewhere around here is where our, uh, our th Oh, is this a tree, technically? It is! Okay. I guess I'll make his base out of mushroom, or glowing mushroom, or whatever this is. These mushroom trees. Oh, can, can I get, like, mushroom acorns? Oh, I wonder if I have acorns right now. I could just place them down, and that would uh, count as, like, a, a sapling. Glowing mushroom right there, nice. Like, I don't know, maybe the glowing mushroom that I just picked up. Oh, there's a lot of them down there, it looks like. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Yes, I guess, like, right here where it's nice and flat, I guess we, I guess we build a, a base out over here. I don't know how big it's supposed to be, but I guess we'll look at the tooltips and see... Oh, it needs to be bigger, or oh, it needs to be smaller. Mushroom workbench, it's like a mushroom that's like flattened. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think we can actually make anything out of those mushroom... Or did it just give us wood? What did it give us there? Oh, oh, it gave us glowing mushrooms. Okay. Interesting. It can be placed down like all these glowing mushrooms. I guess I'll just make it out of stone then. So, uh, we'll have the stone and... I guess we'll just, uh, oh, can I not... Oh, there we go, okay. I don't know how big this needs to be, but, uh... There we go. That seems way too big, but hold on. Is this where we're going to dig into? I don't know, maybe. Uh, I forget how wide it needs to be, but I guess... Like, right, right here is probably where we're going to end up digging into the ground or whatever. So there we go. Let's actually break all these now. There we go. Get our stone back. Make it a little bit wider. And there we go. And then dig a little bit into the ground, too. Let's get rid of that mushroom. Get rid of that mushroom. And, uh, hopefully this is good for the guy. I might need to have a, uh... I, I might make the mushroom workbench for him, because he needs to have, like, a chair and a, uh... A workbench slash table, I think you guys said? Uh, and from what I remember from us doing this in the past... I guess I have to use a hammer on that thing, huh? How do I do... Oh, whoops! Just threw the hammer. <laughs> uh, let's see, where's the hammer at? Uh, there it is right there. It's hammer time! You wanna get a copy strike for saying that? There you go, nice, got it fixed. So yeah, let's place down, or let's make that, that mushroom workbench. There you go, mushroom workbench. Where'd it go? Turn off smart cursor for right now. Where'd it go? Did I even make it right there? I don't think I did. Oh yeah, I need ten of them, it just took me that. So there you go. Mushroom workbench, and I need to make a chair, so I guess, uh, I guess I'll place down... Oh wait, no, that, that's an actual workbench, so what am I doing? Let's make a chair, can I make... Oh, I can make a mushroom lantern, mushroom lamp, mushroom table, mushroom workbench. Is there a mushroom chair? There is! Perfect! Mushroom chair, four mushrooms, and there we go, you guys, nice. So now this is going to be his room. Can I make a mushroom door? <laughs> I don't know if I can. That'd be hilarious if I can. I can! Oh my gosh, there you go. Mushroom door. And there you go! Oh, I kind of want to put it on this side, actually. So it's actually, uh... Oh, look at this! It's like a mushroom at the top of the door! <laughs> let me, uh, let me turn off smart cursor. Golly, there you go. Put the, put the door to this side, because it might be closer to the, uh... 
to the elevator, as I'm calling it. So there you go. Place down the stone blocks. There you go. Oh, yeah. Can I actually place these down as blocks? Oh, I can! Ooh, okay. Well, I don't have too many of them, so I guess I'll make the I'll make his base out of uh, stone for right now. And then I'll, I'll switch it over to mushroom once we actually have a good amount, because I have six. So it's not too much, but let's go back to the door. There you go, to the chair, or the, uh, what is that? Oh, gra oh, these are pressure plates that were right here. Ooh, okay. I was wondering why I couldn't place anything right there. But, uh, the table and the chair. So there you go. And, uh, does it have to have a background or what? Housing? Where's our f goblin friend? There he is. He's on the goblin tinkerer. Can I put him here? Oh, yeah, it does need the, the background wall. Okay. So, I guess... Is this the mushroom wall? It is. How many do I need? Oh, I can make a decent amount. There you go, that's 24 of them. Is that going to cover it? I think it is. Okay, so that's good. So at least we won't have to replace the uh, the mushroom. Or the uh, the background walls. So, I'll have to... Re oh, whoa! That's all of them right there. Oh my gosh, I ran out quick. Holy heck. Alright, let's go grab all the mushrooms that are around here, though. Uh, can I even grab those? Or are those just decoration? Oh yeah, I can. That was a glowing mushroom. That's good. There's no... Oh, I don't know if I actually got that one right there, but... Let's grab all these guys. Holy heck. Is there anything else up there? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm getting a decent amount of glowing mushrooms right now. I think it's one glowing mushroom for, like, four backgrounds or whatever, so... This should be enough for the... For all the walls there, but let's kill that bat. There you go. Nice. Three mushrooms over there. I don't think so. Or... or uh, I don't know. There actually might be. Hold on. Anything here? Nope. What about over here? Is there anything in the water? Nah, I think it's just decoration or whatever, so that sucks. Yeah, I guess we'll get like a... Oh yeah, and then I made it too tall right there. But yeah, let's make some backgrounds here. So where would that be? Oh, whoops, I accidentally just made a bunch of copper coins. Whoops. <laughs> oh yeah, and then we can make mushroom platforms, of course. But mushroom walls, let's make a few of those. Just kind of finish this. And there we go. I'm going to need another craft of those. So... Oh, am I out? Uh, I think I made all of them right there, you guys. Whoops. Can I, can I do it now? Or, <laughs> or what? Uh, does it have to be a full? Missing a light. Oh, okay. I guess, uh, let's grab the mushrooms that are down here, then. <laughs> grab some more of these. Oh, whoa. Oh, okay. I thought I thought it was a new message that popped up at the bottom of the screen, but no, it's the same one. Glowing mushrooms right there. Three of them. A little bit of gold right there. Some more bats and jellyfish and stuff. I like this biome, you guys. Nice change of pace. Is that a sapphire? I don't know what that is. What is this? Oh, that, okay. Those still count as much glowing mushrooms. That's good. Grab some more down here. And of course, some glowing mushroom trees down here, too. And of course, getting deeper into the mushroom biome, which is great. And we're actually killing these second bats and actually taking some damage from them, too, which is unfortunate. <laughs> Let's take this uh, gold right there. There you go. And I guess we'll grab the mushrooms that are up here, because there's a lot. Oh, what was that down there? Oh, it's oh, we found lava. Whoa, there's a lot. Oh, and there's a life crystal over there. You can barely see it, guys. It blends in so well. Cut down this mushroom tree. There you go. Five glowing, I don't know if that was just one glowing mushroom or five of them we got from that one tree right there, but we have a lot of them now. I think I might be able to convert his house over to fully, oh, and that's silt right there, nice. And let's grab that life crystal, there we go. Now it's to 360, which is uh, getting closer and closer to, I think, the free hard mode, hard mode limit. So from now on, or from, oh, whoa, was that a trap? Did I just avoid a trap? I think I did. Because that looked like a boulder right there that rolled down right there, holy egg. But I think, uh, I think once we hit 400 health, which I think is the pre harm mode limit, if I remember correctly, uh, we're going to have to rely on armor and stuff to actually, uh, help us out to make sure we don't, you know, die and stuff. But there's silt right there, so that's good. Grab that as well as the silt over here, so let's grab all this, because it looks like a nice big old deposit. And there's lava over there, too, so I don't know if we can do anything with, like, actual, like, lava, like, get buckets of lava and do anything with that. Other than, I guess, maybe griefing. <laughs> maybe use it to, uh, to damage enemies or something like that, to kill a bunch of enemies. I, I wonder if he could actually do that to make it flow. Oh, and there's, like, dripping lava over there, too. Interesting. Yeah, let's grab all this silt real quick. And, of course, go grab... Or, go back to the area. Go continue working on that guy's house. And, uh... Assign... There you go. Assign him to that... That humble abode, I guess you could call that. And, uh, grab some loot up here. There you go. More silt and more lava. Nice. Uh, I don't see anything else over there, of course. There's a little bit of silt down there, but we we have a ton of silt. I don't think... Uh, ah! Yeah, that's pretty close to a server. I guess we'll grab it. It was a little bit further away. I, I probably would have skipped... Oh. Yeah, every time I hear, like, the hi-hats or whatever with this background music going, I think it's another heckin' worm. Like, he's trying to come over here and kill... Oh, God! Well, speaking of the heckin' devil... Oh, wait, it's a Shelly. Well, it was still coming over to kill me, so there he goes. Dead now. <laughs> But yeah, I, I definitely do want to go to my piggy bank. I think we still have it on us, or is it? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, we do. That's good. 
thought I still had it like out in the open. There's another Shelly right there. I think we have to go up. And there you go. And let's go convert this guy's outer shell. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Black slime right there. Can't even see him. Jeez. Yeah, let's convert the outer shell of this house to glowing mushrooms. Got the mushroom door back. That's good. Then, of course, finish the background, too, because there's a little bit right there that needs to be finished. But yeah, I like how we're making this guy's entire thing out of heckin' mushrooms, which is crazy. <laughs> oh, man, it, like, got brighter right there. I wonder what happened. I wonder if it, like, turned to daytime outside. I know it's, uh... Oh, yeah, let's let's make some backgrounds before we heckin' forget. So there we go. Get a couple of those going. And that should cover it all, I think. So that's good. And let's grab all the rest of the glowing mushrooms here. And there we go. And now the ceiling is, like, one giant mushroom, like hood or whatever you call oh, eh. it's going to be a little bit wider now so i guess that's not that big of a deal we have a few more mushroom walls but I, we have enough spare mushroom we could we can get a few more there you go to finish that off oh yeah and then uh whoops we have to place the door so that would be there and there we go nice so now i'm gonna assign this to the goblin uh oh yeah the light sword yeah i wanted to make well, oh whoops i didn't mean to select outside I wanted to make a, uh, a lantern, right? Oh yeah, mushroom lamp, mushroom lantern. So I guess this one hangs from the ceiling. Yeah, I think so. So there you go. So now we got a light source. So is that good for you now, or? Oh, there you go. It's his. Uh, it's his house now. So that's good. Now where did he go? Because I want to. Oh, actually, go place my piggy bank on the thing. Get like seven gold because I want to go buy those fucking rocket boots. So uh, there you go. Let's see. There it is right there. He hecking four. How do I grab this? Oh, yep. There you go. So let's, I'm going to grab eight. You know, I'm going to grab ten. There you go. Just because I don't know what else he had. I looked like at the rocket boots and then I didn't look at anything else. Oh, there he is right there. Nice. So he's not too far away from his base, which is good. Shop. Oh, it was four. I thought it was seven gold. I don't know why I thought that. But uh, yeah, let's, right, let's buy the rocket boots. So there you go. Ruler. Twelve. Oh, I could just like <laughs> I can smack these with that ruler. I don't know if I want to do that, though. Very fast speed. Extremely weak knockback. 10% and 12 melee. And eh, not that good. Tinkerer's workshop. Allows the combining of some accessories. Kind of want to buy that real quick, but it's nine I can gold, so I'm like I can afford it. I just need to go back to my oh nice life. Uh, but I I just need to go back to my piggy bank real quick. Was it nine gold or was it something else? It is nine gold. Golly, one gold eighty silver for the grappling hook. We already have a oh and it even says get over here. I think I already made that joke, huh? Tool belts can be worn in vanity slots. Increases block placement range by one. I like that nine gold again. Spiky ball, fifteen range damage. 10% uh, consumable. Yeah, I think it's another one of those throwing things, like the uh, the shurikens and the, the throwing knives and all that kind of stuff, but we're gonna need like 20 heck and gold to buy the other stuff over there. That Oh, what in the world? Something died down there. I don't know what for. Oh, wait, is it? Oh, that's a spiky ball that fell from somewhere. I don't know where it came from, but uh, oh, yeah, these heck and black slimes blend in with the background so well, especially in caves, you guys. Sheesh. I know, uh, I guess I'll get rid of the stone blocks, that'd be that. Mud block and put the silt blocks up, there you go. Dirt traps, I guess I'll get rid of those, I don't know what to do with them now. Uh, gold ore, yeah, I definitely want to put those up, there you go. Oh yeah, man, I forgot to use the spelunker potion, but let's get the, uh, I don't know how much we needed, like 20? There you go, because I think it was like 9, oh yeah, now I have, I already had 6 in my inventory, so we have 26. Yeah, we could buy uh, the tool belt, we could buy the tinkerer's workshop or whatever, so that's going to be good. And then reforge, what does that do? At least an item here to reforge. I don't know what it does. Maybe I'll put my katana there. What's that going to do? Wait, what? Cost three. Uh, what does it, can I improve it? Is that what? Um, maybe. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm stupid. I could have just bought stuff from him anyways, because we have uh, money and savings. Yeah, 55. And I don't know why I keep going back to the pig bank. Anyways, <laughs> tool belt. Yeah, let's grab that. It's going to increase our block. But it's block placement, though. Could it also be block mining? Maybe. Is that worth the nine gold? I don't know. That's a lot of gold right there, you guys. But the Tinkerer's Workshop, I think I'm going to get that one for nine gold. Absolutely. And then I guess I'll sell him some of this stuff, like the pressure plate. So, uh, yeah, wait. Uh, oh, yep, there you go. Sell that, sell that. The Rocket Boots, I'm going to put that over here. I guess instead of having a little bit, I, I don't know, 3% extra damage, I'm going to have the Rocket Boots now. So that's going to be good. Let's put that over there. Nice. And is there anything else I wanted to do? I'm like, I could always come over here and buy the tool belt again in the future, right? I don't think it's that big of a deal for me to buy right now. But, uh, yeah, I, I guess, I guess that's fine. Anyways, we have another egg and bat. Got him, nice. And another, uh, teal mushroom, so I guess I'll grab that. Nice. Anyways, kind of want to go up and... Oh, there's a lot. Oh, whoa! Wait, how long? How... 
it lasts a little while. A lot of silt up here, but man, that's that's really useful, you guys. It only lasts like maybe two, three seconds. But if we can use that in conjunction, maybe with the the flying carpet to like make it refresh. Maybe. I guess we can test it out here in just a bit, you guys. But there's a lot of silt right here. I love this. Let's grab all the second silt. We've got a lot of heckin' good progress done here, you guys. I guess from now on, we don't have to have any, like, all the NPCs all in one area in at our base, you guys. We just, like, I guess, especially if the, oh, yeah. Especially if we find NPCs, like, in a certain area, we just keep them there and then just build them a base there, huh? Look at how useful this is, you guys. We, we can just fly around anywhere we want to go. Cobwebs. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's where, there's our rope right there. I didn't even mean to find her. I didn't even think I was going to find her right there, but I did. Nice. All right, well, let's uh, let's continue digging down and make this rope connect up to where we... Oh, and there's cobwebs to the left. I don't know if there's anything over there, but we'll... Oh, let's go to Smart Cursor. Bulldozer. I got an achievement for Bulldozer. Nice. I guess that's... Oh, yeah, we can actually see what that is now, right? Uh, Slayer, Collector, Explorer, maybe? Where's Bulldozer on this thing? Uh, there it is right there. Oh, man, destroy a total of 10,000 tile... Er, tiles. Nice. All right, well, that's pretty good. I think my 10,000th tile was like a cobweb or something like that. <laughs> Anyways, let's break all these stone blocks connected up to our rope. There we go. Nice. And let's start digging down, shall we? So that would be... Oh, yep, there we go. Smart cursor back. There we go. And let's start digging down. Let's see, is this going to dig into his house? And if so, I guess we'll, uh... I, I guess I'll just move it over to the left a little bit. I think... Oh, God, there's a heckin' Shelly, like, right there. Oh, whoa, whoa, these jetpack is, like, really, really good, you guys. Holy heck. Where's that Shelly at? Oh, there it is right there. Get the heckin' Shelly out of here. Sheesh. Man, that was kind of spooky. It just heckin' fell into here. Yeah, that's one of the downsides of this thing. That there's always going to be, like, creatures and stuff falling into our hole that we're digging. So, that's always going to happen. <laughs> I'm like, it's happened, like, so many times right now. Sheesh. But, uh, yeah, let's continue to dig. Oh, I did not mean to place a torch right there, but I did. And I'm not complaining about it, because that's actually a pretty decent spot right there. Not bad. But, yeah, let's keep digging down. And there's, like, three, four skeletons down there. And, of course, the Shelly. Look at this! The jetpack thing is crazy good again. Oh, I can't- Oh, okay. I can't use the jetpack or, uh, rocket boots again. It only lasts, like, a few seconds. That sucks. But, uh, can't complain about it either, because it's, it's heckin' good. Like, look at this. Let's get our heckin' gun out, because we haven't used it in a while. Let's kill these heckin' skeletal fellas. There we go. Nice. Got him down. And... Oh, there's a black slime right there. Regular skeleton there. Looks like some of the skeletons can have, uh, swords and stuff, which is interesting. I don't know if they can have bows and stuff, like, the other game, but... Let's go uh, grab all these coins and stuff that they dropped in that singular piece of heckin' silt right there. I guess I grab it. There you go. And there's the Shelly. So let's. Oh, what? Oh, man. At least now rope's right there instead of heckin' killing it. So there you go. Got him with our yo yo. Nice. Let's grab our rope back. And let's continue digging our rope downwards, shall we? What's over here, real quick? Hold on. It looks like there's actually something over there. There's a little bit of silt down there, too. There's a sapphire. Nice. I might be able to make. I think sapphire's above. Man, even more sapphire right there. Nice. I think Sapphire is better than... Let me look at it again. Oh, why is the screen turn... Oh, I guess maybe the uh, the light turns off on my head. Uh, no, yeah, Emerald is actually better than Sapphire. I thought Sapphire might have been better than Emerald. But no, it looks like Sapphire is actually, like, the step below Emerald. So that's actually really good, you guys. Nice. I like that. Anything in here, though? I don't think so. I guess we'll place a torch. Oh, can I place it in the background? I can. Nice. That's good. Yeah, I'm not too used to being able to place stuff in the background. Because there's, like, no background most times. That sucks, but... Seems like there's a fish in this area over here. I don't know if there's anything, uh, structure-wise in here. Oh, there's a clay pot right there. I guess I'll grab real quick, but... Um, water leaking into here, so that sucks. <laughs> there you go, clay pot with a bomb inside of it. Or is that a... Oh, yeah, that's a bomb. I don't know if that was a bomb or a grenade or what. Oh, yeah, of course I can't use the, uh, the things. Oh, yeah, I can! What? That is insane! I can use heckin' rocket boots in water. Like, actually full-on... Oh, oh, I was wondering right there. I couldn't use the rocket boots, but it, yeah, it ran out right there. I forgot about that, but... Yeah, we've already been here, apparently. And it all kind of connects up. There's a dark trap. Hmm. I guess if we place a pressure plate, it'll, it'll activate with that dark trap, maybe. I don't know. But, uh, let's place some torches here, and that's crazy. I could use a heckin'... Oh, and there's a clay pot to the left. It's heckin' rocket boots underwater. Actually underwater. I'm not complaining about that one bit, you guys. Sheesh. What if we could upgrade them, though, to make them a little bit... Last a little bit longer? That'd be kind of good if I can, but... I kind of want to test out how long they last, too, before it goes into, uh, what in the world? Oh, that was the silk damaging me right there, whoops. I kind of want to see how long they last, too. Just because, uh, oh man, even more Skelefellas right there. And more silk right there, too. Man, I really want to go back home and to go to the Extractinator and see what we're going to get out of this, like, actually hundreds of silk that we're getting right now, because it's crazy. With a worm right there, and there's a heckin' 
Skeletal fell as they fell down into there, so I'll bonk him with my and yo-yo. Ba bonk Got him. Nice. Yeah, let's go back down. I don't know if I missed anything here, but, uh, jellyfish. Oh, yeah, there's silver there. Uh, I guess I'll grab some, but I don't, I don't know if I'll grab all of it. Man, that's a lot of water leaking down there. Whoops. Not my egg problem. Was that a platform? No, that's just the top of the water. I thought that was a platform right there, but no. Yeah, I'll, I'll grab all the silver. Might as well. It's like right there. Oh, the jellyfish is getting like right there. I'm going to kill him with a pickaxe. I'm actually pretty decent. The pickaxe is able to kill that jellyfish. Did he drop a carrot? No, it was a glow stick. <laughs> oh, I thought it was a carrot. Anyways, where, uh, where was I going? Where, where, what was I doing over here? Oh, God, it's like crawdad right there. Let's get him with the yo-yos. There we go. Yo-yo, got him and killed the jellyfish too. Nice. Oh, yeah, we're, uh... Extending our rope down. Whoops, completely forgot about that. You guys remember when we were extending our rope down? <laughs> there we go, we got it. Was it. It looks like this is going to take it into the big room. Oh wait, no, there's one more bit of stuff right here, and then it'll take us to the big room. And then we'll see, did I build his heckin' house in the way of the uh, of the rope here? Oh yeah, that lasts a little while. I'd say like two, three, two seconds. A solid two seconds, maybe. Oh nice, it wasn't even in the way, but I did take some fall damage right there, which sucks. But, uh, there you go, got the bat, nice. But, uh, oh, nice, I can see the rope from here. Can I use the, uh, there you go. So how'd I do it? Double, sp double, uh, space bar, I think. So that's good. Oh, he's inside of his base, I didn't even see that, nice. He actually, what did he threw, do the, uh, throwing? That might be what killed that, uh, stuff down here. I think he does the throwing, uh, spike balls or whatever. So that's why we saw a spike ball down here not too long ago. That's cool. 